What's up guys, Squints here. So this is the third episode of Tip Tuesday. I'm sorry this is a tad late. Um, I had to abandon my bike, um, got stuck in snow and um, things like that. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do cell render in um, Photoshop. And it's a much better way than doing it in Cinema 4D, I believe. Um, you can get some really cool effects. So um, there are three main ways I'm going to show you how to do it. So you just want to duplicate um, the render that you're working on and you just want to go to, we'll do the first one first, so filter, stylize, find edges and as you can see it looks like that, just hit control or command I which inverts it so um, the lines are now white and you just want to set the overlay option to um, lighten. As you can see that just gives a basic white outline on everything and it makes things stand out a lot, um, you can work with that quite well. Now um, the second one, so we're just going to delete that and duplicate the layer again and we'll go for the second one, so you want to go to filter, um, blur and smart blur, second one to the bottom and as you can see this opens. Now you want to set the mode to edge only, uh, make sure it's on edge only and as you can see you've got these things here. Now if you just move these around as you can see different um, the bottom one like kind of um, edits how thick the lines are and how many lines there are and radius kind of adds in the extra detail. Um, you can just mess around with that, find the ones that you like. So I'll put it to that one. Hit OK. And as you can see um, it looks quite nice. Um, you can obviously change the settings um, so the lines aren't closer together like um, they are. I just want to set the option to lighten again and we can just change the opacity, things like that. Um, that one is actually my um, favourite to use because you can get some really cool effects but this render isn't the best um, with this detail around here. So um, the third one, so again duplicate um, your render and this is probably the most used in the community now. So filter, filter gallery. I'm sure a lot of a lot of you know how to do this. Um, glowing edges, which is under stylize. Now you can, um, if you haven't messed around with this before, you can just uh, mess around with the width, um, the width, um, how bright it is. Um, what I like to go for is quite bright with um, the smallest width. So. Uh, brightness is on 20, width is on 1, and smoothness, it depends what kind of render. Um, um, I'm, I normally put it around 6, so I'm just going to hit it on 6. And um, change it to lighten. And as you can see, it adds some really nice colours around here. If you do not want colours, hit um, Control or Command U, and this brings up the hue and saturation. And just make the saturation to nothing. Um, sorry, minus 100 all the way to the left and it takes out all of the colour from that um, layer and as you can see it adds some really nice detail so hope you enjoyed it guys um, some tutorials coming soon which a lot of people have suggested and some really cool speed arts so I um, hope you enjoyed it guys please leave a rating if you're still watching and have a nice day